for a constitutional crisis here. Al Sharpton, of course, has been sent down to Arizona to stoke the uh, fires of uh, fairness and justice as well. It is our moral obligation to stand against this profiling in Arizona, just as we stood against it in New Jersey. Make no mistake about it, this is not a fight between minorities. This is a fight for justice and fairness for everyone. Ah, okay. Notice that he feels it necessary to inject that this is not a fight between minorities. Why would you have to mention that? Because he knows full well that the vast majority of African Americans are passionately against illegal immigration. This is not to demonize who are, those who are coming here illegally. I want to make this clear. I have a problem with illegal immigration. But the problem I have, it, the least problem I have, is with the actual illegal immigrant. It's with our government not enforcing our own laws and the businesses. Let's just keep this in proper context. The same can be said for the Hispanics who've come here legally. They, they're not necessarily thrilled that they did it the right way. They sacrifice their time, their money, and their effort. Why would you want to be lumped in with those who break the rules and the law? But they're kind of in a jam because a lot of their family is down in Mexico. I do agree with Al Sharpton that this is a fight for justice and fairness for everyone. Equal justice. America, this is what you have to understand. Equal justice, not social justice. Equal justice of the law demands that lawbreakers not be rewarded for their illegal activity. That instead they be treated like everyone else. Equal justice. If there's a reason to suspect that you're in this country illegally, why wouldn't I ask? Again, Al Sharpton on the Arizona law. Then we will bring people from around the country to Arizona to be freedom walkers, where we will walk down the streets with no ID and submit ourselves to arrest. What is the difference between us and any Mexican or any Haitian? And the difference is legal citizens as opposed to not legal citizens. That's legal and illegal. Rule of law. Citizenship is valuable. Statue of Liberty says, I hold my torch before its golden door. You don't put a golden door on an outhouse. You put it on someplace special. Our citizenship is something to be cherished, and too many of us citizens don't cherish it anymore. We just think we're like everybody else, but we're not. We're not citizens of the world. We're citizens of the United States, at least... At least right now we still are. I'm proud of my citizenship. And I know those who have worked hard for theirs feel the same way. But Sharpton brings up yet another reason for the Arizona law to be adopted federally. Isn't it strange that those that hire illegal immigrants at almost slave wages are not perk walked? We're not seeing anyone being punished for playing low-wage employees against those that are seeking to make a living. They're only perk-walking those that are seeking to feed their families. You know, this is, uh, this is one place where Al Sharpton and I agree on. I'd like to see the businesses that are doing this perp-walk, but perp-walk is dishonest at best. When illegals are rounded up, and they almost never do time, and they're usually not even deported, you know, they're booked and then they're lost in the system. I haven't seen them perp walked. This discussion needs to be about equal justice under the law. Equal justice, not social justice. And I'll give you more on that next. I was told that I needed to tell you that this is from Pronto Pizza. It's oregano around 48th. Today's discussion is about equal justice under the law. Equal justice, not social justice. One of, one of those two you'll find in our founding documents. The other, not so much. Equal justice is when this woman, this woman comes to the United States and she comes here illegally and she gets deported. Now, social justice dictates that because somehow or another she's special, whether it's her medical condition, her position in life, her race, 
Or maybe it's just because she happens to be President Obama's aunt that she gets to stay in the U.S. illegally, even after her request for political asylum was rejected in 2004. Equal justice says she's got to go home. Social justice says no, no, no. Equal justice says that when a Democrat makes a ridiculous racist remark like this one. I mean, you got the first sort of mainstream African-American yeah. who is articulate and bright and, and, and clean and a nice looking guy. I mean, it's, that's a storybook. That's man. a storybook. Equal justice would say when he said that, he should have been treated the same way as Jimmy the Greek was for saying something equally as stupid. But social justice dictates that it's not. Equal justice means if you live in the U.S., I got to be here legally. I can't commit identity theft and fraud, and neither should illegal aliens. Social justice says poor minority from someplace else. Have a separate understanding now with our government that you don't get. Okay? That's, that's the way it is. Social justice, social justice and equal justice. Because you're the aunt of the president and poor, I'm sorry, you still have to be deported. What equal justice means, it means enforcing our laws. You know the statue of, of justice? She's blindfolded. She doesn't care if it's religion or race or whatever. Justice is blind. Stop using justice as a political weapon or for doing favors for those who agree with your ideology. That's not what all of our relatives came here for. See, we're all immigrants. Immigration is good. Immigration renews us. Everybody who came here, you're here because somebody in your family a long time ago saved up enough to come here to escape whatever bad situation they were in. Most, if not all, were escaping some sort of social justice, and they were fleeing towards equal justice. How does it make any sense at all? How can we possibly be the beacon of hope and liberty as these people are looking at us from just across our own border or from around the world, and they see us start to engage in not equal justice, but social justice, fairness for some, you're too big to fail or you're too poor to leave. Isn't that the same kind of government the immigrants have been trying to escape for 234 years now? Back in a minute. Going to show you some violence that did happen this weekend. Everybody's been worried about it. it happened in Arizona. I know you probably haven't seen any reports uh, outside of Fox. Here it is. This happened in Arizona. Uh, it's pretty, uh, well, it was a little more active than this. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I guess we're not going to show it to you. Uh, it's violence from the left. Yeah, they were opponents of the new law, and uh, they were throwing bottles uh, at the cops, which is, hey, I haven't seen the Tea Partiers do that, but let's disregard this violence. Also over the weekend, there was violence involving a white supremacist. Do we have the white supremacist, or is he going to freeze, too? Yeah, there he is. He's the white supremacist. This guy is a neo-Nazi dirtbag of a guy. He was killed by this dirtbag of a guy. This guy allegedly went into this other guy's house and beat and stabbed him to death. So a Nazi, who you can't defend, was killed by a guy who apparently hated him. I look and say, who's a good guy in this story? One was apparently practicing hate speech, and the other was practicing hate action. I guess there is a difference between hate speech and hate action. I don't know why no one is actually covering this story. But again, here we have another weekend of violence and the score this weekend, Tea Party zero, the left two. Fall in love with the Founding Fathers. This Friday, we launch Founders Friday, the incredible stories of Samuel Adams you've never heard. You don't want to miss that. Gandhi said, use truth as your anvil and nonviolence as your hammer. And anything that doesn't stand the test when brought to the anvil of truth and hammered with nonviolence, reject it. America, you know the truth. Keep hammering away. Keep hammering away. From New York, good night, America.